Okay, here's the XB uh, system that I'm uh, trying to troubleshoot. It has been working okay, then it suddenly stopped working. Just uh, for, for nomenclature purposes, I'm just going to number the pieces. One, uh, piece one, piece two, piece three, and uh, piece four. That's uh, distance from the PC to the airplane. So uh, pieces one and four are the XB adapters. Pieces two and three are the XBs themselves. Piece two is the XB. I'm sorry, I pointed to this one, but it's actually this one. Piece two is the XB attached to the computer. And piece three is the XB piece attached to the airplane. So the symptoms I'm seeing is I tried with Andreas's setup and everything worked fine with uh, pieces one and two. Uh, but uh, when pieces uh, three or four were in the loop of his system, we couldn't do anything to get those to work. So it seems like uh, something's the matter uh, there. You can see here it's in the, uh, the switch is in the master setting as it's... Uh, as is recommended. I had Andreas redo all the wiring on his system so there wasn't any kind of uh, odd wiring problem or just you know, me plugging in the wires backwards or something. So now we're going to uh, follow uh, the directions and try to unbrick this thing. I talked uh, to the uh, to the DIY drones people and they, they asked, to, asked me to try this first. So I'll, I'll post the URL, but uh, here is how to unbrick the thing. And we're going to jump over to the windows. If we look at uh, the XCTU software, okay, we see that there's a COM1, COM2, which is what we expect. Now we're going to plug piece one in and of course uh, connect that uh, to Windows and we've got a power on piece one and when we run we'll see that we see a COM4. We're going to go to COM4, we're going to set the baud to 9600 we're going to go over to modem configuration. We're going to select always update firmware. And we're going to set to the XB uh, P09-DP. And that'll be the XB Pro 900. Now we're going to click right. And in a second we'll get an error message. Okay, that's because we've got nothing attached. So we're going to take uh, the XB unit and stick it in carefully. Get the holes lined up in the back and the front. Okay, it looks like something happened because now we can see some uh, blinking lights down there. And now we should according to the instructions, just kind of hang on for a second and see uh, something happen up here. You know, hopefully uh, the info box will go away and uh, the data will write. But uh, we're not uh, seeing that happen. We're just going to let this go for uh, another minute or two. And it looks down here, we can see that's the, uh, the TX light that's doing a periodic blink. And the uh, red light here is actually looks a lot dimmer than what, uh, what uh, the other, uh, you know, this, uh, this uh, uh, when this unit is plugged in. This one looks a bit dimmer. I'm not sure if that's a sign of anything. Okay, so we're not seeing that uh, that uh, this is coming back. So we're going to go ahead and retry the right here. Okay, 
and we get uh, the same thing. Okay, so I'm going to upload this. If you know anything about uh, these XBs and have an idea what uh, the problem might be with this unit, give me a shout, and then I'll also let uh, the DIY drones uh, store know about this as well.